I'm Amy from Doodle Dog Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to make this primitive looking sheep. Let's get started. For this project I am using some air dry clay. I store my air dry clay in a Ziploc bag and I keep it wrapped up in the original plastic that I came in also and then I just take out the amount that I'm going to need for a project and close the bag back up. I'm going to use about this much clay for my project. When you're working with air dry clay it's a good idea to have a little container of water nearby and you can use that to wet your fingers or to get the clay damp again if it starts to harden before you're finished. So I'm going to take most of it and I'm going to just roll it into a ball. I want a long and skinny sheep body shaped log. When you're working with the air dry clay your hands are going to get messy. It is a pretty dirty process. You can use the water to help smooth out any areas. And I'm going to take one of the long edges and create just a little bit of a groove That's going to be the bottom of my sheep. Now I'm going to make a head by taking a small piece of the clay and rolling it up. I want it to be kind of a long and skinny ball, like an oval shape. And then I want to shape it a little bit so it's narrower at the top and a little bit fatter near the nose of the head. I'm going to stick it on the front. Use a little bit of water to help attach it. Then I'm going to take a tiny piece and make little ears. And I want the ears to be also bigger at the bottom than they are at the top. I'm going to stick an ear on either side. We'll just roll it up into a snake and then I'm going to fold it over. Really work that in so that it attaches. Now look at the front of it and make sure that the ears are even. So then I'm going to make a little tail. I'm going to do it much like I did the ears. I'm just going to make a long skinny snake and fold it over.
Once you have the sheep the way you like it, it's time to add legs. You could use some small dowel rods or toothpicks or matchsticks. I've got these little square toothpicks. Break it in half and then in half again so you have force. But I'm just going to use the two ends that have a square bottom. I'm just going to stick it in one on either side of the front. And then in the back. And to make sure the legs are level, just put it on a flat surface. After you get the legs in, you can shape it a little bit more so that you have a little bit of a curve to the bottom here. And there's just push in and kind of mold it up to the leg area. And then set it on its legs to dry. Be sure to take any extra clay and put it back in the clay bag so you can use it for your next project. Now that the air dry clay is completely dry, I'm going to paint the features. I'm going to first paint the legs black. The legs are dry, so now I'm going to paint the face and the ears black. The black paint is dry, and now I'm going to use some white paint to paint the rest of the sheep. I got a little white paint on my black face here, but I will just leave it and go back and touch up the black again later. The paint was dry, and I went ahead and touched up the little spots on the black paint where I got white paint. And my final step is to give it an antiquing wax. I'm going to use this Minwax Special Dark. I like to use gloves when I'm using the wax so I don't get it all over my hands. I'm just going to gently rub it all over onto the sheep. making sure I get into the grooves, because that is where if it was antique, it would definitely be the dirtiest. This wax helps act as a sealant, as well as giving it an antique look. Now follow the instructions on the can and let it set for a few minutes and then we'll rub it off. Now I have a clean rag and I'm just going to gently buff off the excess wax. My leg fell out, I'll have to glue that back in. I'm gonna let that dry and then I will glue his leg back in. 
Be sure to click the like button and subscribe below. I'll see you next time. Bye.